a challenge ahead. Roger, uh, America. Have a good bird. For 25 years, I've, uh, I've had the dubious and perhaps even disappointing honor of being dubbed the last man to have left his footprints on the surface of the moon. It's certainly a fact. Uh, disappointing, perhaps, because uh, it has been 25 years and we haven't gone back. There's always only going to be one first person on the surface of the moon, and that's Neil Armstrong. But there's going to be lots and lots of last men and women who follow. Beautiful. This has got to be one of the most proud moments of my life, I guarantee you. We thank you very much. It looks like a great place. Big yeah, blocks. It looks like quite a bit of variety from here. Different colors, anyway. That boat is going to roll. Man, that is hard. Any other questions? Checking out down, President. Do you think that the uh, shuttle and the space station, you look upon... We do not have, after 30 years of space flight, neither we nor the former Soviet Union or the Russians, have a adequate, even a scientifically credible understanding of space, of adaptation to space, the human adaptation to space. We have blown that one. Uh, we just have not had a credible program. We still do not have a credible program, but with the space station, we at least have the option now of creating a credible program. Yeah, go ahead. Who are you? Yeah, Jack, when we finish with station, Hey, we will have covered this whole valley from corner to corner. That was the idea. One thing. I happen to believe we can, we can not afford not to go back into the exploration mode and go back to the moon and on to Mars. What I think we really need is a major, a major goal somewhere out there in the future. And you can pick a year, 20 years down the road or a generation down the road that says, we ought to land human on, humans on Mars and build an infrastructure which will allow us to get there.